Okay, so this is going to be supplemental to my blog post about fundamental bebop. It's going to make a, a good bit of assumptions about your music theory knowledge, but uh, just for starters, I'm going to use the tune St. Anne's Real. Uh, I think that'll be applicable to a good bit of my viewers here. Uh, but I'm going to talk about the five chord in the B section where it goes D to E minor, and then we have an A7, okay? Um, so first thing we need to know is what is a seventh chord and what do we play for the arpeggio for a seventh chord? Well, that is the one, the third, and the fifth, and then also the seventh. So we have this. That would be for the A7, and those are the notes that you can play off of. However, if we want to come at this with a more of a uh, so-called bebop kind of mindset or even a jazz mindset, they play off of what are called the higher extensions. So they don't necessarily play one, three, five, seven. They start on the third and go up higher to nines, elevens, and thirteenths. So in this particular approach, I'm going to start on the third. So we have three, five, seven, and then nine. And you hear that different sound there. And that would be like an A9. You can also finger it as follows. Okay, so if I go back to St. Anne's Real, you can use little patterns like that. Or, as I tell my students, always practice them in different orders. Like that. So that's the first one, three, five, seven, nine. Next we go up and we're gonna start on the fifth. So that would be the E here. And this finger pattern is gonna be E, G, B, D. Otherwise, in numerical terms, five, seven, nine, eleven. And now, there I just kind of used a skill, walk down the scale. sort of thing. Um, so, so far, those are the patterns. Or some patterns like that. Um, now, the last one we're going to start on the seventh. Um, and that is a G. And then you're going to go G to the B to the D, F sharp, and then I'm going to resolve to the E probably. So that is 7, 9, 11, 13. Now we're getting into the higher extensions. So and then maybe to the D. So uh, you're talking about it sounds really jazzy when you get into that one. Uh, so here are they all of them together. kind of really outline this more of a jazzier kind of sound. And I, I use those to kind of solo off of over seventh chords. So we really want to... And then maybe in the next lesson we'll talk about how to use those in in uh, conjunction with a descending scale pattern, and you can end up with all sorts of all sorts of crazy little patterns, and you can connect them and entwine them. And that's a little bit of a piece of playing bebop, and maybe adding this into fiddle tunes to get you some more new sounds. Okay, take care.